Okay, for the next part of the assignment, you are gonna open up an avatar. So um, right now I'm just in the 2D. So I mean, I'm gonna switch to the double window. For now, I'll close my property editor. I don't really need it. And I need to open up an avatar. Um, before you open up an avatar, you should probably identify what is the size of your fit model. Um, so our classroom has a set of some of the ASTM measurement standards, which you guys should have access to look at. Um, if you don't, you can only, I mean, that's what Chloe uses, so you can just look and see what their avatars are as well. Um, what I recommend, you know, I don't know if like any size is gonna match your fit model exactly throughout all the measurements because everybody's so different. Like some people have bigger waists and smaller hips and like, you know, longer legs and shorter, um, uh, waist and I don't know it's it's all totally different so I think what's probably easiest to figure out your fit model if you don't have very specific measurements already um, is just figure out what is the um, the bust measurement for female or like chest for male and then um, waist where you go in the most not like where your belly button is but just like the smallest part your little pivot point before you start going out again and then the hip so it's kind of like the butt too. It's like really where you're the widest. Cause then if you know your widest, smallest, widest, I think that's a good starting point, you know, cause your avatar right now for this project doesn't totally have to be perfect. So um, so if you know that and you can look at our charts or even the ones in Clo, hopefully you can figure out a size to start with and then you can change measurements further from there. So I'm gonna go ahead and open up um, one of our fit models okay looks like fifi is the winner and i'm gonna say based off of um my fit model she's a size 10. so i'm gonna wait for her to open <laughs> okay there we go Okay, I love that my fabric's in the way right now. Hold on one second, that bugs me. I'm just gonna move you, thank you. Okay, now I'm gonna go over to size. I'm gonna double click on that. And again, here are a lot of different ASTM measurement guides. Um, these are not free, by the way. I'm just gonna hop over to the internet and kind of show you. Um, here's the link from the website. Um, you know, a book like Per size, well, this one's eighty-seven dollars. It's um, okay, and it I guess it comes with a lot of them. So they're not free for you know. I guess that's fine. It takes you know time to <laughs> manage this sort of thing. But um, but if you wanted your own set for yourself, you know, you could order a book and just have it at your company. It could be helpful. But anyways, um, I'm just gonna do, I'm gonna do straight. My customer's kind of straight. She's not petite, so I'm actually gonna go back and we're gonna do Missy straight. Okay, and I said size 10, which is right here. See where it says like two, four, six, eight. I guess they only go up to 20. Um, so I'm gonna double click it. Let's see if it changes. Yeah, okay, cool. And then if I wanna change it even more, you can go up to avatar measurement. Is this right? I think, is it edit measure? Ah, why am I forgetting this? Avatar editor, ooh, I'm a little rusty. Oh, okay, well this has the measurements on it. That's not what I want. Avatar editor, I think it's avatar editor. I can't believe I don't remember this. I feel like it always takes me a minute, but I eventually find it. Yes, it's Avatar Editor. Write that down. Are you guys, do you have your notebooks? I hope you have your notebooks. Jot that one down. Okay, um, so here we go. Here are her measurements. So I'm just gonna quickly go over and look at the bust. Yeah, that's actually very similar bust as to what my fit model is. And I'm gonna look for um, her hip. Okay, cool. That's also very similar. And then the waist. Yeah, 30, 30 and a half, perfect. If it's not though, if you're like, oh gosh, you know what, her waist is actually 31, type in 31, you know? Um, so you can change it here and there. I think though, if you make too many drastic changes, it gets a little weird, um, but there you are. 
Okay, I guess that's all I'm really gonna show you right now on that thing. So anyways, prep your fit model, make sure she's good to go, your avatar lady person or mister, whatever you're using. And um, yeah, I think that's it. Now you guys are ready to place all of your pattern pieces, sew them, um, and then um, simulate them and see how it is and see, check out the fit. You can easily make changes to your pattern if anything is fitting funny. Just make changes you know, with your keyboard shortcut Z, the edit pattern tool, and change it however you want. And then um, you don't even have to like re-sew or replace. All you have to do is simulate. And right away, it just kind of changes it. So that's actually really fun and gratifying to do fit corrections because it's so quick. You get to see what happened. So definitely play with your pattern until you're happy. And, um, and then you'll share it with the class. Okay, guys. So looking forward to seeing how this all turns out. As always, if you guys have any questions, please reach out.